Sylvester, it's a pleasure to have you with us here in the studio. When you watched those great memories, I'm sure you're really pleased to be in the mix. It's a race that's stooped in history. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. And as a jockey, it's the classics, isn't it, that you dream of winning? Yeah, it is, yeah, you know. Well, we haven't just got uh, you with us today. We've got the family for a bit of support. We've got uh, Sun Ryan, who's nine, and we've also got uh, Vicky to liven, uh, to liven everything up. Of you. It's so nice, isn't it, that the family really get behind you and, uh, and can be here for these big days, I guess, for support for everything, really. It is, yeah, you know, it's, it's a big day, like, you know, and it's a lovely meeting, so, and, you know, and they got a few rides today. It's nice to have them here, and it could be even better if I could have a win at the end of the day. So, come on. Ryan, Vicky, who's the boss of the family? Dad. Yeah, I try to, yeah. Um, I watch a lot with Shelley, his agent, Shelley Dwyer, and Chris. Try and sort of see where he's going in the week and that. That's it. Well, come on, let's have a few home <coughs> truths. When you task, because Vicky knows <coughs> all about it, and Ryan probably analyses quite a lot too. Was it the other day, Ryan, that you told him to change his way of riding? Ryan, don't you? Yeah. I tell you what, he is an absolute whiz on the show jumping circuit. And Vicky, I don't know how you do it because you must have the patience of a saint there all day long. And three or four days at a time, Sylvester, um, you don't last too long, do you, when you go show jumping? I think you like to get there, watch the <laughs> class, and go home again. Yeah, and I, you know, it's a bit like uh, different <laughs> for me. Like, you know, it takes a bit too long. <laughs> like the way Ryan say, you know, I like to Ryan, I'm sure I probably don't need to ask you what Daddy's favourite win was, Arabian Queen, and that was a surprise, I guess, for everyone. 50 to 1, Group 1 winners are huge, but when they're least expected, you celebrated big afterwards. Yeah, I couldn't believe, you know, I have to pinch myself for about a week. <laughs> so, now I was... Vicky, you've been there for the ups and downs, but him being champion jockey must have, must have been special, because it was very, very tough early doors, wasn't it? To the stage where you were nearly going to go back home and you were really struggling to get a ride. Oh, yeah, like, um, and I was at university, so, you know, now... Yeah. And it... Uh, just, Victoria, just, just for the viewers at home that maybe haven't followed <coughs> your career, you, you were an apprentice and how... And, Ryan, don't tell me. Do you want to be a jockey <coughs> one day? You're the right build to be anyway, and you're well on track, as I said. You're an absolute whiz, um, whiz on the show, show jumping circuit. Sylvester, for you, winning a jockey's championship, it, it, if you accounts, a couple at Chelmsford the other day, and I guess not only are you heavily focused on your rides, but you're probably quite closely <laughs> monitoring what Jim's doing. But, but <laughs> the top two are Ed Dunlop and Mick Shannon, but the third is Chris Dwyer, who's given you the most winners, and obviously that's Shelley, and she's really important into the second bid for the, the Jockeys' Championship. Yes, yeah, and, you know, Chris has been very good to me. He only got 20 orders. It would be the job of any agent. I think, it, I, I, I think it's incredible, and especially the fact that Shelley had never done it before. She turned her hand to it and instantly made you champion jockey. But I tell you what we'd love is your input to the programme, so please get in touch the normal way via Twitter, via the email, and ask us any questions that you'd like to, and we'll, uh, we'll pose them to Vicky, Ryan or Sylvester. Well, every month, uh, courtesy of Stobart, we choose a jockey of the month for different reasons. It could be they've had a lot of winners or it could be we think they've excelled on one particular horse. And last month, August's winner was Adam McNamara. Jamie, Jim, Vicky, Ryan and, of course, uh, Sylvester. I don't have to say I'm quite tempted. If you can get even money, I don't think that's too bad a price. I should think Michael Tabor's gone to Fort Knox, have not he? Let's have a look at him. Let's have a look at the reason why. He'd even be better at the trip. Sylvester, I think he takes a little bit of knowing this horse, and Shamey seems to have, have got the key to him. He rode him completely different in the Voltage. He rode him with a lot of patience and a lot of confidence, didn't he? And off the back of that evidence, it's probably quite difficult to see why anything that he's beaten there should reverse the form. Yeah, Shem's give a lot. Well, Aidan O'Brien has won the race four times. John Gosden has also won it to four times. Tremendous record in the race, and his main rival would have been... ...stakes early on. He ran... He finished third, and the stewards had Paul Hannigan in because his horse tried to bite another oh, yeah, horse yeah. in the race. Remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know the race, and I remember. And yeah. he was... sent him to Chester, didn't they, to learn? I mean, that's a, a great track to, to do that, and he did. He had to battle quite hard. Have to battle quite hard. Chester's not the easiest track to run, you know, for horses. Like so, and he's very tight, and he showed speed out there, and he showed his ability. Well, what about one of Aidan O'Brien's other horses, Swordfighter? Because one thing we know about him is he stayed. Mm. Well, let's have a look at uh, Sylvester's ride, Ventura Storm. I'm sure, Ryan, you... Your mum's got an interest in, in Ormita, who was second there. Um, cheap pieces on today. Yeah, I mean, he hasn't run a bad race all season. The only time he did was... Um, but he, uh, uh, he's not as good as either her or any others, but I can see him running well. He's tough and honest. His sire ran well in the race, didn't he? He was mm. third or fourth yeah. in Bolin Eric. Yeah. What do we like? Well, I think... Well... It's, it's a hard call, but uh, probably I've got to stick with a favourite race. 
Mm. Not sh Vicky. I think I'd a whole win it. Well, Jamie? If Mr Williams is keeping some even money... <coughs> well, Still <laughs> offering even money, because I think that's, um, that's, that's relatively tempting. We all agree it's the it's standout good for horse. It's for Labrooks to go of even. Of race this afternoon. That's at 3.45, the Labrooks St Ledger. Plenty more to come on the programme. We'll be back in a few minutes. Certainly in good hands with John Goldston. Sylvester, when you get a horse that wins the Cheshire I and mean, looks so promising for whatever reasons and different problems, it's, it's always almost a relief, isn't it, to see them bounce right back to their best? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. What about Tormor? I'm going to ask you about him, because although you probably haven't ridden him, you must have ridden him. OK, Aidan O'Brien's got two here. We'll start with the Cougar Mountain, who... He's a, a big handful in this, Aidan, early in the week, didn't he? He's, he's nominated... Oh, six furlongs, yeah. so different conditions today. Um, you like Tormor? Yes. Tormor today, and I think he, he can reverse form. Well, two more is the, the class act in the race. We saw that with the Sussex Six form. One thing's for sure, William Haggis' horses are in great form. Yeah, absolutely. As he said, 16 winners in September. We've got a great card at Doncaster. We've touched on a couple of the races, but we get underway at 2 o'clock with the Champagne Stakes. I think this could just be all about one horse, Tarns. Is that the case with Revit? Well, no, yeah. But it, it, yeah, when it's they usually put, a good maid. When they put 60,000 up for prize money this year, it wasn't a surprise that it was probably... Um, a very strong renewal. And we spoke to William Haggis, didn't we, on the programme earlier in the week, and he was quite strong on his chances. He obviously thinks he's quite smart. I think, I think he was quite cagey, actually. What about the chances of a thunderstorm? Big record in the race. Richard's won this for three of the last five years, and he, he won his maiden quite nicely. Did, did you see that? Three of the last five have been trained by Richard Hannan. Two of the last three have been trained by Charlie Appleby, and he's got Dubai. Um, who's in two there. But again, we're back to significance. It's a really important significant as well. What do we like? I think there's thunder snow. Uh, <laughs> it's not often you get the chance to back a horse because we have to talk about the betting. Sylvester, what do you think? Um, I like to buy. It looks like he had a pretty much easy race to work and a bit, you know. A legends race. Uh, so, Sylvester, just a remarkable family, aren't they? I mean, every single one of them do it to the highest level and they're hugely talented. Yeah, he's, you know, just they very are. dedicated. Right, is, that, is that the plan with you one day, isn't it? Yeah. Can't time to keep the weight down. <laughs> You're not going to get. You're not going to stick with the show jumping. The, the racing's pops. When I'm old enough to get like my Johnny license Franken. and get a job. Yeah. Johnny Franken was a brilliant show jumper before he went to um, <coughs> become a jockey. I'm Ryan, not... do you think Mummy should ride in the Legends race? It's incredible, Joseph, isn't it? I mean, the amount he's achieved at such and the such a young he was age. And under all the time he was riding. There was quite a um, dramatic incident which took place at, at Sandown yesterday. You think when you're sort of spoken about the feature races so here at Doncaster this afternoon, the show very much rolls on because it's a huge card at Leopardstown this evening. Tarn's house is there, but she beat architecture, as, as you pointed out. That's a fair way short of what she's going to encounter this afternoon. Yes, I think... Um... She's done it from a mile to a mile and a half. She's bang in the middle today. Do you think that's her ideal? Or? Well, I think she's versatile. That's one of her beauties, but ten foot. And, and don't well will also be a fair track, but you don't usually, in a competitive race, get so many high-quality horses. It could be... And Pat Smullen have yet to win this feature. It's probably one of the, just a few in Ireland that have escaped them. What about the French race, Sylvester, just to reiterate your Parzan through and through? Parzan, yeah. OK, well, let's uh, take a look at our team tips of the off. Well, we've hopefully now got a few minutes to, um, to, to read some tweets. <laughs> this is always the <laughs> tricky part. Your friends often stitch you up here and they come up with, um, with a few tricky questions. Let's have a look. How easy is it to make a meaningful career as a top-class jockey in Brazil or South America more widely? It's, it's tough, yeah. It's not the easiest way. But, uh... <laughs> I know you go over there uh, for a family holiday, and Ryan was yeah. just saying how much he loves it. It's quite remote. You like it for a holiday, but presumably hope you don't have to go back there and try and earn a living. No, no. When Sylvester goes home, um, like, he's an honorary member of the local, the local um, town council. And Vicky, I'm going to have to stop you because we're about to go afternoon winning that big race on Ventura's film. Find out. We'll be back.